What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas. Season 4 is underway, it's probably been out a couple of weeks by the time this video comes out. I'm a little bit behind because of work and I've been busy, IRL etc. Them two buildings there what we set up when we landed just to keep safe. There's a lot of tigers, cobras and lions on this island. But we're going to get the main, well, or part of the main base set up ready to go. This is eventually going to be converted into a full animal pen, although there is an animal pen going to be attached to this, which we'll see at the end. And, um, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a permanent structure. This will become part of the main base. Speed build to start with, tour at the end. If you just want to watch the tour, as always, I'll put timestamps down below if you just want to skip to that. And, um, yeah, enjoy the video, guys, and let me know what you think in the comments below. As we all know, counting is definitely not your strong suit. Exactly. <laughs> and he was talking. All Fuck, riding. I've forgotten already I got the four, mate. <laughs> you didn't even run out of fingers at that point. How are you messing that up? <laughs> I'm too tired. I've done it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Too tired. You literally cut a bush in your garden. That's all you've done all day. Yeah, mate. Knackered. Knackered. Any ideas?
go guys, all done up, painted, and I've got the interior done. I just wanted to show you quick before I look around, this was where the two original buildings were. You can see the two dockyards there, I'm going to have a harbour area to each side of them that will join on the back, and on the back of the dockyards have a big workshop area, and then we're going to have a bridge coming over from the dockyards to where I'm standing at the moment. And um, yeah, I want to build a little settlement, so the, the base we've got here at the moment will eventually be turned into a full-on animal pen, animal enclosure, whatever you want to call it. Maybe a bit of a breeding area kind of thing. And um, I'll surround the whole area with a perimeter wall made out of stone walls, but the little walls, not the big gigantic things that lag everyone out, just to make it look nice and make it look like a little settlement. I'm going to have a stone keep somewhere and a marketplace, things like that. Make it look like a right little settlement, a few little buildings for different things. And um, yeah, this will be the main base. So this is the start of the main base, like I said. Um, let's go and take a little tour around it. So we'll start in the main part of the building, the headquarters, the main workshop area. Like I said, this will eventually become like a barn type thing for sheep and pigs and things like that. But for now this is perfect and um, in a little bit we'll get a bird's eye view of this and we'll see that this is a really good starting setup. Um, and I wish I'd done this more times in the past, but I finally got around to doing something like this. And uh, yeah, it's really good. You've got everything you need. We've even got all these crop plots outside. Got the grill on the go. Uh, got plenty of storage. All the crafting essentials. A nice big area to store animals the way they're protected. So yeah, it's really, really nice to um, have this. As you can see, we've got all the, the forges, the tannery, the loom, everything down this end. And you can see down there on the left, uh, the storage boxes on a shelf in the air, which was my brother's idea, and I'm really glad we've done that. I think it looks really cool. We've got some storage to the left of these stairs with some cooking bags and things. And then this is like a little storage area upstairs. And you have to crouch to get up here, but I kind of like it. It gives you the feel like going up into the attic. We won't use it that much um, at the moment, I don't think. So... Yeah, but it's nice to have it, and it's a nice little view downstairs as well, actually. You can see there the storage on the shelves. It's pretty cool. And uh, out here we've got the nice big open yard for the um, the Thames. It's got the elephant giraffe and a bear out here at the minute. Plenty of room for a rhino and um, a few other bears, etc. Um, this won't be, obviously, the main animal storage. This is just for now. This is while we're building the rest of the base. And uh, like I said, it's a good example of a nice build for starting out on Atlas, really. Like, this is perfect. You'd never need to build anything more than this if you didn't want it, I'd imagine. Um, but if you want, like, big breeding areas and a, a few tames, etc., obviously you need bigger. But for a long time, this will be more than enough. And I'm super happy about it come out. Really simple. A little bit of paint makes this look a lot better than it actually is, I think. But um, yeah, really, really happy with it. Let me know down below what you guys think. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is the start of the main base. There's a long way to go yet. I've got big plans for this. And um, hopefully it's going to end up looking like a nice little settlement with a marketplace, a proper stone keep, and um, a few other bits and bobs dotted around to give it a settlement feeling. But yeah. Anyway guys, um, like I said, let me know what you think down below. I can't wait to show you this when it's fully built. Um, and I'll put a few screenshots up in a moment of it at night time, all it up with all the lights. I've done the automated lighting for, you know, with the, um, the pin coded lights and the uh, lever. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it guys. Hope you liked the build and I will see you in the next one.